kwamba umenitendea ina kosa ya kusema ina kosa ya kusema wewe ni Mungu ah wali wewe ni Mungu ah wewe ni and all when became the father of Jesse and Jesse became the father of David and that was the great plan for so the lineage of Jesus from Lethrop, California and I thank God and bless God for you for tuning in and being a part of this ministry. This is the month of October and it is the month of pastor's appreciation and as a minister of the gospel I take this opportunity to acknowledge and even to appreciate all the ministers of the gospel all over the world in whichever capacity you serve. I just want to appreciate you from the bottom of my heart. I know it's not easy to serve, but because of your service, there are so many souls that have come to the kingdom. It is because of their service that so many people have been restored their joy. May God bless you, pastors. May God bless all the ministers of the gospel in whichever capacity you work for the advancement of the kingdom of God. May the Lord bless you, may the Lord keep you, and may the Lord sustain you, and may you enjoy the remaining months of this year 2020. God bless you so much. <laughs> Katika maisha ya nweba Nisaidie, nisaidie baba Katika na nyumba ya nweba Nisaidie, nisaidie baba Katika masomo ya nweba Nisaidie, nisaidie baba Katika maisha ya kwe baba Nisaidie, nisaidie baba Katika na nyumba ya kwe baba Nisaidie, nisaidie baba Katika kanisa la kwe baba Nisaidie, nisaidie baba Katika kanisa la kwe baba Nisaidie baba, eh, 
I surrender all to na kuwa budu wana to na kuwa budu church if you know that the lord has been so good to you i want you just to take a moment and just worship him take a moment and just praise him wherever you are he has been great he has been so good unto us he has kept us he has sustained us if it was not for his mercies i don't know where we will be but this morning or this evening wherever you are I just want you to appreciate the Lord. I want you to lift up your hearts and worship him one more time. I want you to adore him. I want you to honor him. I want you to take a moment and appreciate God. He has walked with you. It has been it hasn't been easy starting the year 2020, but the grace of God has been sufficient. And right now, if you know that the grace of God has been sufficient over your life, I just want you to take a moment and just worship the Lord. Take a moment and just appreciate him. Father, we honor you. 
Father, we bless your holy name. If it for the Lord, if it has not been, it has not been easy. But God, your grace has sustained us. And this morning we just want to honor you because of your grace. We honor you because of your power. We honor you because of who you are. We bless your holy name. We honor you and we celebrate you. For we praise this in Jesus' name. Amen. And wherever you are, just appreciate the Lord. Just lift up those hands and just worship the Lord. In your living room, just worship the Lord. Wherever you are, if you're listening, if you're if you're watching me from the hospital, from your place of work, if you're watching me, wherever you are watching me, whatever part of the world you're watching me from, I want you to just appreciate the Lord because He has been so good unto us. We thank God, we worship the Lord. Here at JICC in, Le in Lathrop, California, the Lord has been so good unto us and we are so grateful because of his mercies. We are so grateful because of God himself. He has been there for us. We thank God for this day. This is the second week of October. This is the second week of October. And I feel the Lord putting in my heart about waiting upon the Lord. I don't know about you, but this year 2020 has been a year that we'll live to remember. And maybe somebody is watching me and they're asking, is life going to be normal again? Am I ever going to get a job again? Is there somebody who will be able to hire me again? Is my bank account going to be the same again? Am I, be, am I, be able, am I going to be able to go back to school and even get to the same system again? And that has been the cry and that has been the worry of so many people. They are asking themselves, is life going to be the same again? Even the pastors and the churches all over the world. As we are in this month of pastors' appreciation, there are pastors who are asking the same question. Is the church life going to be the same again? Is the worship going to be the same again? Is the ministry going to be the same again? But I want to assure somebody today that the Lord is saying that the remaining three months of this, of this year, he is going to pour his glory upon his people one more time. And his glory will be so much, his glory, the, the church will be so glorious that people will experience the fullness of joy again in the mighty name of Jesus. And that's why the Lord today is teaching us about waiting upon the Lord. The Bible says in the book of Isaiah, chapter number 40 and verse number 13. Uh, the book of Isaiah, chapter number 40 and verse number 31. The Bible says that, but them that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall learn and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Them that wait upon the Lord. Them that wait upon the Lord. They shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall learn and they shall not be weary. They shall walk and they shall not faint. And I feel somebody in my spirit today that has been walking for, from January until October. And they are weary. They are faint. They feel like they are just about to give up. But the Lord is saying that you don't have to give up. Because if you learn how to wait upon the Lord. He is going to renew your strength. If you, wait, if you learn how to wait upon the Lord, He is going to come through for you. And so church, if there's one secret that we need to learn, is how to wait upon the Lord. And we do not wait upon the Lord because things are working for our favor. We do not wait upon the Lord because things are working for our plan. But we wait upon the Lord because he is God. And God is good. And his masses endure us forever. And that's why when you wait upon the Lord, he is going to come through for you. And he is going to make things beautiful at his own time. So church today, the Lord is teaching us about the secret of waiting upon the Lord. 
And many other times because we are human beings that we get impatient. And the Lord come and wait and come looking for us at the place of our assignment and we have disappeared from a place of our assignment. But the Lord is looking for men and women that will wait patiently and wait upon the Lord. The Lord is looking for men that will know the secret that even when things are difficult, they can be able to wait upon the Lord. And I'm going to give you five points about waiting upon the Lord. Five points that are going to help you about waiting upon the Lord. So when you're waiting upon the Lord, I want you to trust God patiently when you are waiting upon him. Because the Bible says in the book of Proverbs, chapter number 3 and verse number 5, Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge and submit to him, and he will make your way straight. So when you're waiting upon the Lord, you have to trust in him while you patiently wait upon the Lord. Yes, 2020 things has been difficult. But the Lord is saying that even though things did not work as you planned them, that we got to wait upon him patiently. We got to wait upon him patiently. And as we wait upon him, he wants us to trust in him. We trust in him because he is our father. We trust in him because he's our God. We trust in him because in him there's eternal life. We trust in him because in him there's everything. We trust in him because in him there's wealth. We trust in him because in him there's riches. We trust in him because in him there's good health. And once we learn the secret of waiting and trusting upon the Lord, our life will be much better in the remaining three months of this year. So number two, as you wait upon the Lord, you have to pursue your faith while you are waiting upon the Lord. While you are waiting upon the Lord, you got to pursue your faith. You cannot just wait upon the Lord and lose your faith. The Bible says in the book of Hebrews chapter number 11 and verse number 1, that faith is the substance of things hoped for, evidence of things that are not seen. So when you wait upon the Lord, you have to have faith. And the Bible says that faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. So as a child of God, you have to learn the secret of, or of immersing yourself in the word of God. Feeding your spirit with the word of God daily. Because when you feed yourself with the word of God, faith is going to build in you. And the Lord is looking for men and women that are going to feed themselves with faith. That even though these are not looking good in the world, the Lord is looking for men and women that will wait upon him, patiently on him. And as you wait on him, you go to build your faith. When you build, uh, another thing, while you're waiting upon the Lord, you have to serve others while patiently waiting on God. You have to serve others while you are patiently waiting on God. You don't have to be selfish. Whatever little God has given you, you have to use it for the service. And we know that Jesus himself is a perfect example. He was a king, but he was also a servant leader. And if you learn to wait upon the Lord, you also have to learn the secret of serving others. You don't have a problem in serving others where you're waiting upon the Lord. you got to remember that David himself, even though he knew that he was anointed as a king, the Bible says that he did not have a problem in taking the lunch to his brothers at the battlefield. Even though he knew that the anointing was up upon him, even though that he knew that he was the king, he did not have a problem in even singing and dancing, even singing the harp for the king's soul. He was serving as he was waiting upon the Lord. Is there a man and woman here who is looking to be the greatest man in the planet, but yet they don't have a problem in serving others? Is there somebody here, you know that the Lord has called you into greatness, but you don't have a problem in serving at the anointing of the man of God? 
Because once you learn that secret, that you can be able to serve, you can be able to serve others, the Lord God Almighty will elevate you. You've got to remember that Elisha was serving under Elijah, and he knew that God has called him. But he did not have a problem in serving under the leadership of Elijah. And the Bible says that through that, there was a journey that they walked until he received the double portion of the anointing of Elijah. For you to be elevated, you go to learn the secret of serving others as you wait upon the Lord. As you continue to wait upon the Lord, you also have to uh, you have to be watchful and expectant while patiently waiting on God. You have to be watchful and expectant when you're waiting upon the Lord. And when we talk about expectant, we are talking about somebody that's going to be so sensitive to the Spirit of God. Somebody that's going to be able to be listened to the Spirit of God and to know the direction that the Spirit of God is taking the church. Somebody that will be able to listen from heaven and shut every other voice of this world. And once you know that, you'll be expectant and you'll be able to deliver the good news to the people who are hurting. When you wait upon the Lord, you got to be expectant. When you're waiting upon the Lord, you have to be trusting. When you're waiting upon the Lord, you have to lay serve your spirit because the Lord is looking for men and women that will have a high spirit. The Lord is looking for men and women that are not going to be discouraged. The Lord is looking for men and women that are going to move in courage. The men and women that know that they have been called to greatness. The Lord is looking for men and women who know that they are world changers. Men and women who know that they are movers and shakers. That's what the Lord is looking. Men that do not have a problem in, upon waiting upon the Lord. When you wait upon the Lord, the Bible says that them that wait upon the Lord, he will renew their strength. That even though you're weak, the Bible says, and let the weak say that they are strong. Even though you are sick, you'll be able to declare the healing power of God upon your life. Even though you don't have money, you'll be able to declare that all the silver and gold belongs to our God. Even though you don't have a job, you'll be able to declare that the Lord God has is the one who has super, supernatural provision over your life. As you continue to wait upon the Lord, wherever you are, just know that the masses of God are new every morning. And just know that the Bible says in the book of Psalms 30 and chapter number 5, that morning may ensure fall a night, but joy comes in the morning. So when you're waiting upon the Lord, there may be a series of morning. There may be a series of darkness. There may be things that are not working out for your good. But I want to assure somebody as a servant of God that as you continue to wait upon the Lord, that joy is coming, that joy comes in the morning. And the Lord is looking for somebody who can patiently wait in the darkness and wait for the joy to come. Finally, the Bible says that Paul and Silas, while they were in prison, while they were in prison, they were there, they didn't have any other hope, but they learned the secret of praising and worshiping the Lord. And the Lord is looking for men and women that will learn the secret of praise and worship even in the midst of their chaos, even in the midst of their confusion, even in the midst of their uh, mistrust, even in the midst of everything they are going through. The Lord is looking for people who will know the secret like Paul and Silas. That will wait upon the Lord. And the Lord will renew their strength. Because the Bible says at midnight, they started praising and worshiping the Lord and singing the hymns of the Most High God. And suddenly the doors of the prison opened. So when you wait upon the Lord, he will open the doors of prison on your behalf. 
The remaining three months of this year are very crucial for the body of Christ. Because when you know the secret of waiting upon the Lord, he is going to move the doors that has been shut in your life in the name of Jesus. He's going to open those doors for you. He is going to open the prison doors for somebody in the mighty name of Jesus. Them that has been on isolation, the Lord is opening those prison doors in the name of Jesus. Them that has been discouraged, the Lord is opening and bringing a word of encouragement in the mighty name of Jesus. Them that have lost hope, the Lord is giving them hope again in the mighty name of Jesus. So you don't have to be discouraged. You don't have to walk alone. Just know that there are men and women of God that are waiting patiently and have waited upon the Lord. They have interceded on your behalf and they are waiting to lift you up from the hole. They are waiting to lift up wherever you are and they are waiting to walk with you. You do not have to walk alone. You don't have to be discouraged because the Lord is waiting for men and women that has been waiting upon the Lord. May the Lord bless you as you continue to wait upon the Lord. I want to pray for you wherever you are. If you're trusting God and you're telling God that the next three months are very crucial for my life and I want to walk with you, God, wherever you are, let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, come before your throne today, Lord. Father God, you give me the message of waiting upon you, oh God. And my viewers today, Father Lord, are asking themselves so many questions, oh God. How is life going to be normal again? But Father God, you are saying that as far as they wait upon you, as far as they learn the secret of waiting upon you, you are going to renew their strength. And they are going to mount up with wings like eagles. And today, Father God, I pray that you may strengthen them. You may empower them. You may change their life, oh God. That the remaining three months of this year will be the month of joy over somebody's life. That God Almighty, they are going to forget about the former things. They are going to forget about the pain they have gone through. And they are going to see your light. We give you glory, we give you honor, for we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. We love you. We honor you. And if you leave in Leatherop, California, or here in Northern California. We invite you to come and worship with us. We are located in 17902 Murphy Parkway, Leatherop, California. And when you come here, you are going to experience the love of God. You are going to experience the power of God. May God bless you. We love you. Thank you. <music>